Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 25th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather and world weather, everything else affecting humanity. Starting out here, looking at 304 angstroms, our sun. As, yeah, we are still looking at that amazing sunspot, 2824, ejecting all of those sun... CMEs, solar flares, and they are heading our way. We are expecting them anytime. Also observing a formation of a sunspot there in the outgoing images. And as well, a small cresting sunspot here, southwest region. Plasma filament here. Looking at our sun, a multi-spectrum. You can watch that sunspot to the right of 2824 quickly form in an outgoing position. Looking here, 511 or sorry, 193 angstroms, no earth facing coronal holes. A quick look here at uh, Core 3, Lasco 3 as there was a sun-diving comet that quickly jetted into the sun. As well, looking at some interesting images that popped up here, the last two images there, I saw this one, and then an image just before it. You can see it was smaller and northward there, so it looked like something was coming into view. What is that? Something I wanted to share. I have no idea what that is. But it's not there anymore. Having a look here, Core 3, you can see that CME, last CME to the right side, and the CMEs before that, they are all heading our way, as you can see all around the corona energy coming our way. Looking here at the NOAA space weather prediction, as you can see, there is quite a wave heading our way, according to NOAA. And the ISWA showed just a glancing blow. But this one here, you can really see all of the CMEs coupled up together, heading right towards Earth. So we are expecting the, the, the space weather energy within the next few hours this evening and overnight tonight. Having a quick look at our real-time solar wind as we are still relatively low 313 kilometers per second we saw a small spike to 330 but nothing major when it comes to the real-time solar wind having a look at our Schumann residence for today a power of nine so I think we can calm down after a pretty energetic and static last few days have a look at earthquakes here the last 24 hours I did give an earthquake update earlier today, but let's start out here with the largest earthquake today, 5.4, reported in Naifu, Tonga region, 174 kilometer depth, and seeing many deep earthquakes throughout the region here, Tonga, 574 kilometer depth, 592 kilometer depth, 122 kilometer depth, New Zealand as well. Solomon Islands seeing some activity today, 4.6, and as well a 4.9. Indonesia, 5.0 here reported, as well 4.6. Tobilo, 
And then lots of activity here, southern Japan islands, Yonunaki, Yonokuni, and as well, southern Japan, 4.6, ranging to 4.8 for them today. As well, 4.5 here, volcano Japan islands, Japan volcano islands region. As well, Alaska, minor seismicity throughout the region. Looking here at the United States, 2.8 there in Oregon. As well, 2.5 stovepipe wells, California. Lots of wells and geysers rocking. 3.6 there, Utah. 2.5, Mexico border. And then, yeah, this rare 4.1 she took. Oklahoma, and as well, 2.5 there, Quinton, Oklahoma. Let's have a quick look here. The USGS across the North American plate, pointing out any noticeable, notable areas, and definitely lots of activity here. Cobb Mountain through the geysers. And as well, interesting activity throughout east of San Francisco through Berkeley and up into Dublin seeing 2.2 there reported today but three of them in Dublin mountain range with Nevada now let's a quick look at USGS Nothing to report for Earthquakes Canada today. Not since this morning. Still a lots of pressure activity coming out of Oklahoma. Let's carry on here. 4.5 there reported. North Atlantic Ocean. Seismicity coming back to South America here today. 4.4, 205 kilometer depth. San Antonio de Cobros. As well, interesting activity still occurring here. Rwanda, Africa. 4.3 here to report in Greece. As well, a rare 4.3 Romania. And as well, a 4.3 Turkey. 4.5 there, India. And as well, 4.2 Myanmar, 95 kilometer depth. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Nothing to report through Hawaii. Let's have a quick look at the last seven days for earthquakes. Lots of deep earthquakes coming out of Fiji this week. And as well, seismicity coming back to South America. Interesting tectonic movement through the African plate. And watch for seismicity to increase through Europe. And the North American plate and through central regions of America. Especially with these deep earthquakes through Fiji, three or four of them today, 500 kilometers and deeper. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center. Most recent volcanoes to update, Reventador and Tacono, Etna and Nevados to Chilean, Niragongo and Congo, Pacaya, as well as Sabinkaya, Senge, Suis and Ajima, Krakatoa, that's right, Krakatoa has awakened. And I warned yesterday after the Daily Dew, and sure enough, the alert came out just after the video. So we're looking at about 13 volcanoes being updated today as active and new eruptions. No major weather systems to report across the globe except for the tropical storm that is affecting India and parts of Bangladesh as it is a category one storm luckily it, we didn't get any space weather to help ramp it up because cyclone one is good enough but the interesting forecast for this system stay tuned to the five day forecast tropical cyclone Yas <laughs> is going to be uh, heading backwards Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and Morning Dew. 
starting out here, home base Calgary, Alberta. As yeah, we finally seeing that rain move out, but the cool temperatures are going to be hanging around for a while. You can see here the next five days, nothing over eight degrees, and we're going to see some more rain this week. And the cold temperatures just still hanging around. Burr. Like we're in June, folks. What's up with our planet? Massive system there to the west coast. Big dominant high pressure ridge still. Watch for the low to move out of the central prairies and into the Atlantic provinces this week. And as well, watch a Colorado low to rip out of the United States through through the central regions, southeastern United States, but still very cool temperatures. And here is our first Atlantic tropical cyclone, Anna, tropical storm Anna, who is just about on the Greenland continent right now and will be heading towards Iceland in the long range forecast. So heads up Iceland, big windy storm event heading your way. Overlooking Europe, Low pressure system moving eastward, mixing with another cold low, and as well, low pressure system moving into Turkey. Lingering showers through Central Europe, but high, high pressure ridge moving in, keeping that big low at bay and bringing in some summer-like temperatures. So enjoy, my European friends. Overlooking Southeast Asia and the West Indies, East Indies, watching tropical cyclone Yas forecast here you can see it bounce into the mongolian mountains and then back so that thing might head eastward afterwards in the long range forecast we'll have to see it might even just ramp up again atmospheric line of moisture heading out of china through the pacific no major weather systems to talk about through indonesia malaysia australia high pressure ridge and then a watch long range here, a big system to move in southwestern parts of Australia. As well, looking at New Zealand, watch for a system to be affecting you as well. No major weather systems affecting Hawaii. Daily evaporation rains for the Hawaiian Island. That's about it. And for the west coast of Canada, watch for a small system this week, but then dry until this big system decides to let out all the moisture along the coastline. Overlooking South America, watch for this system to develop Argentina. Nothing major to report there though. A little bit of thunderstorms through Bolivia. Heavy rains, thunderstorms, Venezuela, Colombia, Panama, and up into Honduras. Watch for interesting systems there. No major weather systems to report here in Africa, except for the heat. It's going to be very, very hot. I mean, this is Africa, but it's nice to give everybody a warning when it's going to be almost 50 degrees in some areas, especially parts of Western India. Watch that 50 degrees. Heads up. Much love, everybody. I'm going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern now, would you look at the almost antipode, massive low pressure system in the Pacific, one in the south, one in the north. Thanks for watching today. Much love and prayers for humanity. And again, thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss an update. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the